Back in December 9th, I believe, we made a video showing Windows Arrow enabled in Windows 7 Virtual Machine. And I've gotten a lot of comments since asking, how do you do that? Well, the first step is um, to have a Windows 7 Virtual Machine, which I do. And then also, what you need to do is you need to have it set to at least 128 megabytes of RAM. And I'll get to that later. But first, we need to install virtual machines additions, you know, virtual box. So we go to devices. If you can see the pull down menu. Down here, install guest additions. That will insert a guest additions DVD or CD into the virtual drive. You double click it. Windows user account should show up. Okay. Click yes to install. Should give us the installation wizard. In a few seconds. It takes a little while because um, since it's not using the full advantage of oh that's like okay sorry you have to go yeah here's the auto run now you have to go and click run virtualbox.exe sorry about that and click yes it should show up with the wizard now let's check it out here click, click next select where you want to install it as a default that's fine. And then when you hear it right here, it says Direct 3D Support Experimental. You click it and it'll say, this system supports Windows Zero. But would you like to install Basic 3D? Because Advanced 3D installs, it requires it being in safe mode. So you click No. And it says, please note, in order to use 3D acceleration, version of the box must have at least 120 megabytes of RAM. Hit OK, so now it's selected. And you click install and it will come up with a uh, driver alert saying that um, Oracle is trying to install the driver click always trust and then click install here it is would you like to install this device click always trust and click install should go through with the installation and while, while that's doing that <coughs> um, as that does that, it'll prompt you to restart. I'm not going to restart, but what I'm going to do is um, turn off the virtual machine, and then when I come back, I'll turn on the virtual machine settings and show you what you need to change, and then cut back to the virtual machine starting up. So here it is installing the WDD video driver. Here's the window where it says reboot now or I will manually reboot. I'm going to click I will manually reboot later, finish, and then we're going to go and shut down the virtual machine. And I'll be back. So here's the sort of part two to <coughs> enabling Windows Arrow in Windows 7. So here's our virtual machine is turned off. We're going to go and click settings <coughs> under display. We're going to slide the video RAM all the way up to 128. We're going to click Enable 3D. Make sure you enable it up to 256, then Enable 2D. <coughs> so then after we hit OK, it should start up, and then we'll go and select Windows Arrow when I come back. We are at our virtual machine. Virtual machine additions have been installed correctly. Video RAM is to the proper amount. And now we're going to go and select the settings which we need to select. So, you go over to right click, view personalize. And then under themes, you select one of the many arrow themes. I believe the one that I had was architecture. <coughs> As you can hear, the theme is being applied. And if we exit, let's say we start up Windows Media Player. I recommend settings. Finish. Well, that's not taking long. Start so like also. And an Explorer open that up, show you some stuff.
go to google.com. So now we have the Windows arrow snap feature. Then we have peek at desktop. Then we have thumbnails. See, so I can switch between thumbnails, change settings. Now if Google it displays properly, you know, it's it's a little bit wonky because of the original machine. But see it displays fine, whatever. Exit. So um that's about it. That's how to um enable Windows Arrow in uh VirtualBox. So yeah.